Okay, we have frame blending now. And frame blending is basically like how After Effects interpolates frames after another. So video is 24 frames per second, 30 frames per second, 60 frames, etc., etc. And how is After Effects going to listen to that? That is determined by this button right here. Let's just try these guys out. So I have this footage, this button, the frame blending and you can turn that on with this button right here. Now this first clip I have on my timeline has no frame blending added to it whatsoever. And then the second one is using pixel blending, frame blending, frame mix, excuse me. So frame mix is basically, it's like every frame will have like a, a, a light opacity fade to it. There's like one or two frames, like a opacity fade to it. So if we play it back, this video does not look all that much different. And then the next one, pixel motion, it's basically taking the pixels that are moving and then estimating in the future where those pixels will be. So truthfully, there's not that much of a difference that we can see on the surface. But in doing an experiment with this footage here, I went forward 80 frames. So hold shift and then page down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we can see that we have this frame right here. Hit shift F5. And then if we go to the very beginning one and we hold shift, page down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's the same exact frame, but if you look very, very closely with the frame mixing one, we see that there's some extra particles hidden in here. So if we turn that back on, using the screenshot F5, we can see that those particles are still there as if they were opacity fading. So that's frame mixing. And then if we go to the pixel motion, oh, After Effects being weird, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, same exact frame. Same thing, we're getting, there's a slight difference there. And this might work better with stop motion, but most of the time I don't use this feature all that much unless I have some footage that's like really broken anyways and I need to have it blend well or I didn't record it in the right shutter speed or just just something. So my, my first recommendation is get it right in camera first and then if you have to use this, this feature is there so you can either get the pixels to predict with pixel motion or use your frame mixing. But yeah, that's what this button does and you activate frame blending with this button right here. All right, that's today's quick tip. I hope you learned something. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. Like if you learned something and if you need more help, feel free to hit me up on Instagram. Again, my name is John Jagsney. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch my face because you're not getting it back. So I hope it was worth it. And I will leave you with this. Eat one gram of protein per pound of body weight. You will make some gains, I promise. All right, goodbye. Goodbye. Where's my lens cap? Bye. Put the place up.